Okay, so this is a game called Umihara Kawasetti, which is one of the most frustrating and difficult games I have ever played in my entire life. When I first played this, I thought that you were playing as sort of a Japanese version of Susie Durkins from Calvin and Hobbes, but apparently that's not the case. After reading up on it some, you are a 19-year-old girl who is stuck in this land of fish, photographed backgrounds, and as you'll see later on, random pieces of school equipment, like pencils and so forth. So you can see in the demo here, your main weapon is this fish hook which you can basically shoot around anywhere on the map. Well, not anywhere, I mean, you know, it's got to stay attached to that cord. And uh, that's where most of the difficulty and uniqueness of this game comes in, is the physics system in this game, especially for a Super Nintendo game, is really well developed. So uh, if you watch some of the expert videos, which I'm probably going to have a link to in the info, you can see just how incredibly, like, complex this game can get later on. So, uh, if you touch any of the sea creatures, the big ones at least, you die immediately. And you get 10 lives, which seems like a lot, but I promise you, it'll be gone quick. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the whole point of this game, is you just, uh, have to try and escape to the real world, I guess. It's like sliders or something like that. Each door is going to take you to a new land. You don't know where you're going to end up, except they're all going to basically look the same until you get later on in the game, and then they just have different colors. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty weird game, but it's pretty hard, too. This is, like, the very, very start of the game, obviously, and, oh, that's cool, so I guess I can't hit the fish when it's coming down. Awesome. So, um, yeah, when you die, you turn into nothing. I guess the fish eat you right there. You die and then the fish just like eat your corpse or something. <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, so the beginning levels of this game are pretty easy, but, oh no, I'm not getting tricked by that shit. Uh, the beginning levels of this game are pretty easy, but as you go on, they get exceedingly harder, and you can actually kind of do a shortcut by taking a harder path in some of the levels. But, uh, like, see, I just skipped like eight levels, and I'm on level ten. But, yeah, this game's physics system is the main draw to it, because uh, it is really, really insane what the game demands of you later on. It is nothing short of, like, perfection. <clears throat> and I don't know what those eel things are. Let me see if I can get another one to come up here. Yeah, it, these uh, the fish, by the way, are kind of like the boo ghosts from Mario. If you're, like, near them, they won't appear. See, like, the puffs of smoke come up and nothing appears. Let's see, what are those things? They're like eels with and those acorns they shoot out. If they hit you, they don't kill you, but they make you dizzy, and then you can't do anything, and you probably will just die. So you can also die by falling into the water. Uh, just like many video game characters, she can't swim. I don't know why. I think you, like, dog paddle or something. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice the little bird just, like, sat on my backpack or whatever. So anyways, um, I'm gonna try some skills here. Again, the eel with huge... I don't know what's that about. I don't know what that's about, so... And I don't know what that is either. Oh, sh Okay. Um... But later on, you're gonna fight stuff like clams that go up walls and sharks and all this other weird stuff, so... Yeah. Okay, so the main difficult part in this game for me is... Well, besides the sea, you just kind of go dizzy. Um, the main hard part in this game for me is this boss, well any of the bosses, but I've only actually made it to one boss, which is this huge tadpole that crrrrrs up frogs, which makes a ton of sense. It's like a huge egg crrrrrrs up chickens. But anyways, um, oh, and you have these little platforms too that like, again, physics system, if you put your weight into it and uh, kind of pull it down. Yeah, I forgot to mention that earlier, you can extend or shorten the length of the uh, cord by pressing down or up which is another part of the physics system because if you like shorten it really quickly you can fling yourself across the map so I'll probably have to do more of that later but probably the hardest part of it is this stupid tadpole boss which you can't even harm you just have to outlast and that's what I'm gonna go to right now and I have never beat this thing I've taken that sh you can take a shortcut up there to skip like 10 levels and get past this thing 
but then I get stuck pretty quick there too, so I just want to see what levels are after this. So yeah, so first of all, it's a tadpole with what looks like chicken legs, or rooster legs or something, and it just kind of hops around, uh, not really needing to flex its legs there much, kind of pulling the same thing that the Hulk did in that uh, first Hulk movie. So yeah, you, just, you have to outlast it, you don't really do anything. You just have to kind of wait it out, and every turn from now on it's going to crap out one frog. Well, it's going to crap out one more frog, like next turn it's going to do two. And so, you just have to do this over and over, and wait it out. And this seems really easy, but I have played this like 20 times and I have never beaten this boss, ever. Oh, and you also have a time limit too, so you can't really f*** around. You know, you have to actually like run through the map pretty quick. The frogs don't kill you if they hit you, just like those acorns, but they will dizzy you, and that's a bad thing when you have this gigantic tadpole slash the Hulk coming after you. So, yeah. Uh, again, just same old thing here, but it gets kind of harder when he's shooting out like three or four of them, because you gotta see you get dizzy, and then they start jumping around. That's when it gets hard, because, yeah, these things are a pain in the catch. And then, here comes the tadpole, and he gets faster every turn, too. Like, by the last turn, he is absolutely f***ing flying down this map. So, not only do you have to take care of five frogs, or four frogs, whatever, as fast as possible, you have to kill this thing, or you have to avoid its attack, too. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. I'm probably not gonna make it here. Maybe I will. Oh, f***. Okay. One more turn. All I have to do with this one more turn, and that's it. And then, he jumps off, and that's the hard part, too, is he'll jump off, and most of the times he'll take you with him. And, you know, it's like, okay, why don't you, why are you standing so close to the frogs? Well, it's because... Oh, sh There's one frog left. Okay, now here's what's hard, too. That frog will come back around, and he will hit you when you're on this cord, and he will kill you. Oh, my God. I just beat the level. I just beat the level. I have never beaten this. First try I do on a video, I beat the level. Holy f Okay, you can also go down across the bottom of the map and get that little pink backpack and get an extra life. But then you actually have to go all the way back across without landing in the water and without getting hit by the frogs, so that's kind of a risky thing to try there. And if you can actually pull that off, you probably don't need the extra life anyways. So wow, I have never been to this level. Or I've never went this way, whatever. So this is pretty cool, this is pretty new for me. I've seen this level in videos, but uh... Oh, See, that's what I mean. You, you're pretty much screwed. If you get hit by one of those things, you're gonna like get dizzy and then knocked off the map. Oh, f big ass blue, blue fish. And then you can oh, f you can uh, pull these things off. They're kind of like they just spawn. Oh, come on! But uh, you can, you can. Oh, somebody's calling my phone. Just a minute.